This video is sponsored by Squarespace. So I just spent the last three weeks in Japan and while on my flight, I actually used an iPad mini to cull my images. Being able to cull through all my images on something like an iPad mini is a game changer. This makes it so that you don't have to bring a laptop with you on a trip or even you can work a lot easier on a plane or a flight when you want to call your images. No more worrying about small spaces and not bumping elbows with the people beside you. You can use something like an iPad mini and get it done quickly. If you wanna know how to do this on your iPad or iPad mini, let's go ahead and talk about setting it up. So to get our photos syncing between Lightroom Classic and Lightroom on our iPad, there's a couple things we need to set up at first. Let's go up to the top left corner and go under our preferences. In here, this is where we can see the settings for our Lightroom Sync up at the top here. And under Lightroom Sync, you want to make sure you're logged in to your Adobe account. This way, you can actually have your photos syncing. Now, in Lightroom Classic, you can only sync one catalog. This is why, personally, I've always been a fan of using one catalog per year, because if you're doing multiple catalogs per session, you're going to have an issue when it comes to syncing your photos. So personally, I would say just do one catalog sync your photos that way or do a catalog for each quarter of the year or half years. Set up something that works for you, but personally, I'm a big fan of just the single catalog. Now, after I have that set up, we need to actually get our photos syncing. So here's some photos from my trip to Japan, and I did a short session for a YouTube video. So let's actually find those photos and we'll get them syncing up. So here are the photos from that session. I'm gonna actually select all of them. So click on my first one here and then shift click at the very end, which looks like here. And then we're gonna take these photos and drag them onto this all synced photographs here on the left side. Now, if for some reason this is closed, you see you have this catalog section, just open it up by the triangle there and then click and drag your photos over. Now, if your syncing is not turned on, which mine is turned off right now, make sure to click this cloud in the top right corner and then click resume syncing or sync. And then it should automatically go ahead and start syncing your photos. Once the photos hit the cloud, they'll actually go back to our iPad mini and I can use them there as well. Now, the main reason you wanna set up something like this, again, is for portability. With something like an iPad mini, being able to take this out sit down and have a coffee and cull through some images real quick is a game changer. With everything syncing up too, there's not a lot you have to do. When you're ready to actually export your photos, you can go back to your main machine and export it there because everything is now is syncing up. This counts for editing too. So if you've never edited on an iPad, definitely check out my video up here above, but you can edit your photos right on your iPad sync them back to your main computer and then export from there. Before we continue on to look at the iPad mini and how to actually call, let's not forget to talk about this video sponsor, Squarespace. Having an online presence for your business is the number one thing you need to do. And if you're a photographer or wedding photographer, I highly recommend Squarespace for that. Squarespace is an online platform that will help you build your website quickly and easily and also build your online presence. Having social media is great, but having a website is even better. I've personally been on Squarespace now for over 10 years and it's served my business well over the years, especially because they're always upgrading and adding new features. Speaking of new features, Squarespace just added Squarespace payments so you can manage the payments directly inside of Squarespace and also use pay later type services. You have commerce so that you can sell physical and digital products online and you can even put paywalls up over your videos so if you have courses you wanna sell, you can do that as well. Make sure to set up a portfolio for your photography business with Squarespace and check the link in the description below for 10% off of your first website or domain. Let's take a look at actually culling on the iPad. So the majority of our photos are synced now. So let's go ahead and jump into Lightroom on my iPad mini. And what we'll eventually see happening here is that these photos will start syncing in. I'll have to go to all photos. Oh yeah, and here they are. And you see, I didn't have to wait for 50 years for them to sink in. All the photos were already there just waiting for me.
Now, sometimes what I like to do is I'll go in and I'll separate my photos by these folders here on the left, but you don't have to do that. But now that everything is syncing through the cloud, through my iPad, and also on my computer, any changes I make here will also go back to the computer. So I can go in, find a photo like this, and I can go ahead and edit this photo if I wanted to. I have my preset. And I can make all my normal changes that I would do if I were editing on the computer. And we have before and after. And then once I've made those changes and I have my photo here, it will sync back to the computer, all those settings as well. And then like I was saying again, then you can actually export your photos on your computer if you have a more robust exporting workflow like I do myself. So culling is just as easy as it is to edit your photos. And this is where, in my opinion, the iPad really starts shining because what you can easily do is come through to the photos, hit your star here on the right. I like to star my photos when I'm culling them. And now the right side of the iPad becomes for starring, the right side becomes for flagging. So you see I'm just dragging up and down and I can pick flag or I can five star it. And so now I can easily come through, flip through my photos like this. And when I'm happy with a photo, five star it like that. And this is why I really, really enjoyed using it on the flight because I could just hold the iPad mini in my hand. You know, it's barely bigger than the iPhone and I could go ahead and actually get everything called out very quickly and not have to worry about bringing out a whole laptop that's gonna be in the way or anything of that sort. So if you use an iPad like me, let me know if this was helpful for you. Do you sync your photos up? Do you have any other questions about Lightroom syncing? Let me know in the comments below and definitely stick around for more videos and full wedding day videos. Y'all can check out some more right over here and I will catch you all later.